Hello guys, once again welcome to the Automation Revolution. In this video, we will learn about uh, Symmetric PDM software uh, for making parameterization in remotely location. So you can see in this rack, we have different process instrument uh, for the temperature measurement, level measurement, flow measurement and uh, based on different uh, communication protocol, uh, we have different process instrument. So if you want to send, uh, make parameterization from remote location, uh, so with the help of this Symmetric PDM, a process device manager software, uh, we can make parameterization. So now I want to make parameterization for this uh, level sensor which is based on Profibus PA cable. And this PA cable uh, we have connected with this coupler, uh, DPPA coupler and from this DPPA coupler, this purple color cable, Profibus DP we have connected with this communication processor card so ultimately uh, this uh, communication processor card is converting uh, Profibus DP uh, protocol into USB so you can see we have connected USB cable uh, with this PC so I will send parameterization uh, from this PC and uh, I will make programming for this instrument uh, for the Symmetric uh, uh, PDM software so now we will see uh, how we can make parameterization so first of all I, I will introduce about this Symmetric PDM software process device manager so this PDM is used for configuration uh, parameter assignment commissioning diagnosis maintenance and uh, for different process variables and automation component with the PDM uh, you can use signal interface uh, not for only Siemens but uh, with a different manufacturer device you can use uh, this PDM PDM can be used for uh, set the parameter uh, change the parameter or you can test manage and simulate uh, process variable pdm is also used for monitoring uh, the process values alarms and signal status uh, online devices there are different key specification uh, like uh, you can uh, use for different communication protocol profibus PADP, hard or modbus and uh, with option live list you can track network how many devices connected with Profibus cable or hard cable. So this, these are the options given in uh, Symmetric PDM that we will going to uh, learn in this video. Second thing, uh, uh, this Symmetric PDM is uh, integrated with Symmetric Manager software. So you must have this license for this PDM. So then uh, you can integrate uh, with Symmetric uh, Manager software. So now we will switch to this Symmetric Manager and uh, I will open new project first let's click on that new I will give here name at PDM one and after opening this uh, project first we will set PGPC interface to select the communication driver so you can go for this option set PGPC and uh, here we, we are selecting the communication driver so CP5711 uh, uh, bus uh, driver must be selected and this property must be uh, transmission rate 45.45 kbps so that changes we need to do first and after that we will uh, switch into process device and network view right now we are in component view but if you want to uh, add the network so compulsory we must to uh, select this process device and network view so now we are in process device and network view and here we will add network so right click on that project and network so here we have a profibus dp and profibus pa uh, two different profibus networks so first of all we will select profibus dp and then uh, we will select the level sensor which is based on Profibus PA so after selecting network I will right click on that insert new object and communication network so here uh, I will add the communication network Profibus DP so go for the send device type and from there I will add Profibus DP network and press OK second thing uh, we need to take care about communication port so this communication processor is connected with USB cable 
so this usb cable is connected uh, on uh, which port that we we can see from this control panel so from this control panel uh, first we will see device manager and here option is port com port so right now uh, we have connected uh, com port 1 with this communication processor card so while we are selecting the device that time we need to take care about this communication port after selecting this profibus dp network uh, we can track this network how many uh, different process device connected with this network so right click on that go for symmetric pdm and start live list so you can see we are getting one window uh, with symmetric pdm and i will start to track the network so every device connected with this profibus dp network that we can see here with address manufacturer uh, device type hardware software version installation date and with very detailed information so you can see uh, this address c06 11 26 these are the profibus dp address and uh, different device name coming here manufacturer and device type also, also coming here gsd file is general station disk, disk file uh, so if you want to configure third party uh, device uh, apart from siemens so you can take uh, this download this gsd file from net internet and you can integrate in this symmetric pdm software so right now we want to configure uh, we want to parameter this lr250 device so this address is 11 so that will uh, take care while we are uh, selecting this device so now I will close this window and in Profibus DP network uh, we will select LR250 device. So once again we will go for network and uh, object view. Here we will add this Profibus address 11 because we want to add LR250 device in this network and go for assign device type. So this LR2 p device is connected with Profibus PA cable. So we will select that and go for sensor. Then level. This is radar. So we will select this eco and from there manufacturer is Siemens Miltronics and LR250 model. So here we are getting two types of LR250 model uh, different version. And from there we have this latest one LR250 device. So I will select that and OK. So now we have successfully added uh, this LR250 device and I will open this device into Symmetric Manager. So currently we are in Symmetric Manager and from there uh, we will open this device in Symmetric PDM. So open the object. So now Symmetric PDM software will open. So you can see the symmetric pdm software is open and uh, here we are getting so many parameters for this device lr250 and based on application you can change uh, this uh, process variable and here we are getting uh, identification the setup information and option for the main maintenance and diagnosis so these are all parameter uh, you can change communication type so here uh, we are getting profibus pa device type edd version and security we can make and different characteristics so these are different parameter uh, options uh, for this citrans lr250 device so first of all we will make a quick commissioning uh, for this device so we will option device and from there we have option uh, wizard quick start so you can see uh, one window is uh, showing the uh, detailed information about LR250 device uh, like tag and the installation date order number and here we are uh, making this quick commissioning for this LR250 uh, process instrument so now go for next so here you can select the application type for what what application you want to uh, use this device so here we have different option 
volume in vessel level in a vessel with bypass pipe and volume in a vessel with bypass type or level in vessel so based on application you can select this application type so right now i will select level and uh, for what material you want to use this so liquid or liquid low dielectric that you can see next here you can select the vessel shape if you have selected this application type based on volume so one second i will check that so if you select volume so here you can change uh, this vessel shape so because volume is related to this vessel so you can select the vessel shape also but currently uh, we will use this level in a vessel so there is no need to give vessel shape here and then next here uh, you can set the unit and meter centimeter mm feet or inch so right now i will select centimeter and uh, here we have two options high, high cal calibration point and low calibration point so you can see from this bottom point to uh, this lr250 base point that option is x so x x will be the low calibration point so you can see here uh, 2000 centimeters already given by default and uh, this high calibration point is this distance y so from the uh, top level uh, to that sensor base level so you can change this high calibration point and low calibration point based on application so these two are the very important parameter uh, for that level sensor and response rate you can change the 0.1 meter per minute uh, 1 meter per minute or 10 meter per minute so you can change uh, this is response rate so you can make fast slow and medium and uh, now press next so here uh, we, uh, we are getting this comparison between old parameter and new parameter so this will be our old parameter you can see uh, this application vessel shape and range uh, that we have got old uh, parameter and here we are getting in new and we can uh, finish and download option so that new parameter will be uh, downloaded in this device so press on finish and download yes so that uh, parameter changes uh, we can download uh, with the cp card so you can see uh, we are getting this quick start was successful and close Upside we have uh, this option download to device if you want to change this parameterization and uh, want to download this parameters you can download from there and this option is for upload to pgpc means if you want uh, to uh, upload the data from the device to uh, pc so in that case you can select this option and here we are getting this citrans lr50 device start so we are uploading the data from device to pc you can see this uploading is already started and data whatever we have changed in this device that we can uh, we can get in this pc so this upload and download option is also given in uh, semantic pdm so you can see successfully we have uploaded uh, the data close and now we have uh, this option process variable so right now uh, whatever value is changing that uh, we can see here and uh, this volume or level type already given here quality status everything we are getting here in function block uh, we will get information about the level so analog input uh, so that is coming from 4 to 20 milliampere that we can uh, get here so if you want to uh, if, if I, I will change this data uh, level so that uh, signal will be changed in this uh, block we can also get this trend view so based on that application level uh, centimeter the trend view.